In this video, let's make some experiments with custom tags in order to completely uncover the way they work. So to do that, I return to Cold Fusion Builder and I will return to my experiments folder. And inside of the experiments folder, we will work with the custom tags.cfm page in this video. So I open that file and I will directly run it in the browser. So this is the very simple file here. I have a title and inside of the title I have today's date, you can see right here. And then I have two pictures. I have one picture with one legend right here, then the second picture with a second legend right here. So let's take a look at the HTML code now in Fusion Builder. Now in the HTML code you see that I have an H1 tag right here for the title and inside of that H1 I have a CF output block that uses now and date format to output today's date in a certain format. Now I have the two pictures right here, so I have a div tag with an image wrapper class and inside of that div I have the picture and the first legend and then I have a second div with the same image wrapper class with a second image and the second legend. So now I will create a custom tag in my experiments folder. So I will create a new Confusion page and I will call that page today.cfm like that. And I will move this CF output block inside of today.cfm. And I will consider today.cfm as a custom tag. So let's return to custom tags.cfm here. And because the calling page, which is custom tag.cfm, and today.cfm, that is the actual custom tag, are in the same folder, which is the experiments folder, I can use that syntax here, cf underscore today, to call today.cfm as a custom tag. So let's save and run that page and you see that nothing has changed. So the date is written here in the title. But if I take a look at the debug information, you see that today.cfm has been processed. It is part of the files that Confusion needs to process that request. It has been called as a custom tag in this case. Now notice in Confusion Builder that I do not close that tag. If I close that tag using either that closing slash here or even an actual ending tag like this one, so I open and close the CF today, then I save the custom tags of CFM and I run it in the browser. And you see here that the date is printed twice on the page. This is because the custom tag is executed two times, a first time for the opening tag and a second time for the closing tag. So in my case here, I will return to Confusion Builder and I will not close that CF Today custom tag because I only want the date to appear one time and not two times. Now I will create another custom tag. So I will create another Confusion page here in my experiments folder and I will call this one Picked Wrapper. That's CFM of course. And I will copy paste one of the two blocks here. So copy, paste. Here I will remove the legend because the legend will come from the custom tag. Now I save the custom tag. I return to the custom tags at CFM. And instead of using that div tag here, I will open my new custom tag, CF picked wrapper, like that. And instead of closing my div tag here, I will close my new CF picked wrapper custom tag, like that. Now when I save and run that page, you will see that the first picture appears three times. The first time the image appears is the result of the opening picked wrapper tag. The second time the image appears here is the result of the IMG tag, which is inside of the custom tags.cfm file, in between the opening and closing picked wrapper. And the third time 
the image appears is the result of the closing CF picked wrapper tag, so the second time the custom tag is executed. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder because obviously this is not what we want. And inside of ColdFusion Builder, I will return to the picked wrapper, which is the custom tag, and I will remove that image so that it does not appear three times. And instead, I will use the CF dump tag and I will dump a special variable which is the this tag variable. Now the this tag variable is automatically created by Cold Fusion whenever you call a custom tag and it is available inside the custom tag. So let's return to the calling page where we call that custom tag right here and I will run that page and hopefully I will see the dump two times. Now you see that the this tag variable is actually an entire scope with different keys in it and the key that will be the most interesting for us here is the execution mode. You see that when processing the opening tag the execution mode is start and when processing the closing tag the execution mode is end. Now that I know that let's return to ColdFusion Builder. Let's return to my custom tag here. I will first remove that dump and I will check with a CF if, if I'm running the custom tag for the first or for the second time. So let's use CF if here. If this tag dot execution mode is equal to start. In other words, if I'm processing the opening tag, then in this case, I need to output that opening diff CF else. If I'm processing the closing tag, then I need to write that legend and I need to close the diff tag. And of course, don't forget to close here the CF if of course, like that. So now if I do that and run my custom tags again, you see that the custom tag does its job and the image that I write here in between the opening and the closing tag is correctly wrapped inside of the diff. So if it works for one image, let's try for the second image. So here I will take that picked wrapper again. I will close the picked wrapper instead of closing the diff and I will remove that legend here. Now let's run the page again and you see that both images are correctly wrapped into their frame. So that's the job of the custom tag. But of course, the legend here is now the same for both pictures because in ColdFusion Builder, inside of my custom tag, you see that the legend here is hard coded inside of the tag. So here, let's return to custom tag.cfm where I call those tags and I will add here an attribute to that tag. I will add the legend attribute. I will make legend equal and then the band in concert. Of course, inside of the custom tag, instead of hard coding the legend right here, I will need a CF output to print on the screen the value of attributes dot legend. And the attribute scope here is again automatically generated. And this is how you can access the different attributes that you pass to the custom tag. Now, remember in the custom tags that CFM here, I supplied the legend attribute for the first image, but not for the second image. So when I will run the custom tag here, this line of code will generate an error for the second image because I did not supply any legend attribute. So let's make that attribute optional by giving that attribute a default value if it is not passed. And to do that, I use the CF param tag. Remember, we already used that tag when talking about forms earlier in this course. So the name of the variable is attributes dot legend and the default value will be no legend supplied for this image, for example. So let's save the custom tag and run the custom tags.cfm page again where we call the custom tag. And here you see that 
the legend attribute has been correctly passed to the custom tag and here the CF param has correctly created a default value for that attribute. So this is the custom tag. You see that the main difference between an include and a custom tag is that we can customize each time we call the custom tag, we can customize it with attributes. And so each time we call the custom tag, it's going to be a little bit different than the previous time.